So are you pretty good at algebra? Well, hopefully the answer is yes, but uh, many of you out there are gonna be saying, well, I used to be great at algebra, but that was 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago. But uh, nevertheless, even if you've been away from math, algebra, specifically for many years, I still think you could remember how to do a problem like this. This is not a difficult algebra problem. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and take a look at it. It is K divided by seven divided by parentheses, two K divided by seven plus K and parentheses. We want to simplify this down to one value. So if you could figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section, and then we're going to uh, go through the solution step by step. Again, we're not talking about advanced algebra here. And uh, again, for those of you that have been away from math for a long time, you know, just don't look at this and just say, well, you know what, I totally forgot everything, there's no way. Well, you might surprise yourself, you know, maybe play with the problem for a few seconds and see what you can remember. But uh, anyways, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this problem. And the problem here is actually a complex fraction. Now I wrote it in this manner, k over seven divided by parentheses, two k divided by seven plus k and parentheses. But really, uh, I kind of wanted to write the problem this way. Okay, so this is the same problem, k over seven divided by two k over seven plus k. Okay, so first thing that you want to recognize is that if I gave you the problem in this format, it means the same thing as this. Okay, now I just threw in some grouping symbols to kind of make this very explicit that we have this entire thing as the denominator. But the first thing you want to be able to do is to interpret a problem like this as a big uh, complex fraction. It's a fraction problem, right? So here is our numerator and we are dividing it by a denominator. The numerator is this and the denominator is this whole thing. Okay, so you can see that we're going to have to work on cleaning up our denominator here before we can actually uh, uh, divide the numerator by the denominator. So we're going to have to deal with this um, fraction here, 2k over 7 plus k. Okay, so that is going to be uh, kind of the steps that we're going to take. Again, I wanted to kind of give you the problem this way, but yeah, I think it would have been a little bit too big, if you will. And also, too, I wanted to kind of, uh, you know, make this a little bit easier for those of you that need a, uh, to kind of see that we are dealing with a complex fraction. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Let's go ahead and uh, kick off the actual solution. Now, being that I'm going to think about the problem in this manner, we need to simplify the denominator first. Okay, so I'm going to have to figure out what 2k over 7 plus k is. Now, even if you didn't get this problem right, and you're like, well, I didn't get it right, but I still feel like I have pretty good algebra skills, well, see if you can figure this out, okay? So 2k over seven plus k, how do we do this? Well, this k, we can even write this as a fraction. I'll give you a little bit of a hint. We can, anytime you wanna write anything as a fraction, just put it over one. So if I give you the number five, you're like, well, that's not a fraction. Well, of course it is. We could just write that as five over one. And now you can be very explicit about what is the numerator and what is the denominator. Okay, so anytime again, you wanna think of things as fractions, just put it over one. So can you figure this out? Well, sure you can, all right? You may have forgotten. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we need to do here. Well, we are trying to add fractions. So in the fraction world, we cannot add fractions unless the, uh, the denominators are the same, okay? Now here, we do not have the same denominators, right? We have seven and one. So we're gonna have to find the lowest common denominator. So what is the LCD? Hopefully you recognize it as seven, okay? So uh, I'm gonna have to write these fractions such that their denominators, both of them are is uh, seven, okay? Well, this one already has the denominator of seven, so no problem there. We have two K over seven, but I'm gonna have to fix this fraction up such that its denominator is seven. So um, what do we need to do? Well, we're gonna take one and multiply it by seven. That's gonna turn that into seven, but if I multiply the denominator by seven, 
I must multiply the numerator by 7 as well. So that's going to be 7k. So now my problem is 2k over 7 plus 7k over 7, right? Now at this point, this is going to be very easy because the denominators are the same. It's 7, okay? So when we have or we're adding or subtracting fractions with uh, the same denominators, all we have to do is add or subtract the respective numerators. And here that's going to be 2k plus 7k which is 9k. So this entire um, answer here is 9k over 7. Okay, now I want to show you um, a technique that all of you out there that are um, interested in math or doing math right now uh, should know. So let's get away from this LCD business here for a second. And this is really kind of um, the approach that I would um, uh, you know, hope that most of you would have taken. Now you still need to know how to find the LCD and add and subtract fractions with variables in algebra, no doubt about that, but here is a great little shortcut that you could have taken to answer this problem. It's called the bow tie, or I call it the bow tie method of adding and subtracting fractions. It is fantastic, and you have to go in this very specific order. Okay, so here it goes. We're gonna start with this denominator in the bottom right. You always start right here, okay? We have two fractions. You're gonna start from the bottom right, which is this denominator. You're gonna multiply this way. All right, so one times 2K is what? 2K. Now, because this is, this is an addition problem, I'm gonna put a uh, plus symbol right there, okay? So now, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to multiply from this uh, denominator, the bottom left, and I'm gonna go this way. All right, so that's gonna be seven times K. We're gonna write the answer right here. So this little uh, uh, kind of crisscross here is forming our numerator, all right? So again, one plus two K, it's um, always, you always start here in the bottom right. Okay, if you start this way, you're gonna get the answers wrong, especially when it comes to subtraction. So, I'm sorry, subtraction. So when you're adding the subtracting fractions, you can always use this little um, kind of technique. So one plus two K is two K, plus seven plus K is seven K all over, okay, that's the numerator, and then our last step is seven times one is what, seven. Now look what, we're gonna, uh, what we have here, 2K and 7K is 9K over seven. I didn't even have to mess with the LCD. This is an absolute must know for those of you that are taking algebra or wanna kinda get back into it. All right, so here is our answer, 9K over seven. Okay, so at this point, uh, when we're looking at our complex fraction, I saw I got k over 7 divided by all of this, 2k over 7 plus k, and we figured that out. So now I have 9k divided by 7. So now this problem is going to be uh, not too difficult. We have this divided by this, okay? And you can kind of write that out as one expression. And if you know how to divide fractions, again, basic arithmetic here, you should be able to figure this out. Okay, so right here, we have k divided by uh, 7, or I can write that here. This is our numerator being divided by, okay, so here's our division sign right here, uh, 9k, and I'm actually going to use a different color here to make this nice and uh, lovely. So we have 9k divided by 7, all right? So now I'm going to write this complex fraction this way. So k divided by 7, uh, k over 7, or k divided by 7 divided by, right here, 9k over 7. So this is what we want to do is kind of write it this way as we um, are going to divide these two fractions. And if you know basic fractions, ba basic arithmetic, you should be able to do this problem pretty easily. All right, so here's the problem, k over 7 divided by 9k uh, over 7. So what do we do when we're dividing fractions? Well, we're going to have to take that division and turn it into multiplication, right? And how do we do that? Well, we're going to have to flip the fraction to the right of the division symbol. Okay, so in this case, it's 9k over 7. We have to flip that upside down. That's called the reciprocal. Just means we're going to uh, put the denominator where the numerator is at and vice versa. So this problem, k over 7 divided by 9k over 7, is equivalent to k over 7 times, okay, being multiplied by 7 over 9k. Okay, so now we're going to do this. And multiplying fractions is super easy. Because to multiply fractions, all we are going to do is multiply the respective numerators and denominators. So this is going to be k times 7 over uh, 7 times 9k. Now, before you start doing any multiplication, like, oh, I'm going to multiply 7 times 9, just hold off because you want to look for opportunities to 
um, cross-cancel like factors. Okay, so hopefully a lot of you were, um, kind of saw, oh, when I do this, I cross-cancel this and cross-cancel that, and that is exactly right. So right here, um, when we look at our answer, we want to look for like factors, in other words, the same factors in the numerator and denominator. So here I have a 7 down in the denominator, I have a 7 up in the numerator, so I can cross-cancel these. Okay, I don't need to, I can kind of get rid of them for my problem. And then right here, I have a K up in the numerator and a K down in the, uh, the denominator. And again, 9K, this is multiplication, so I, this is a factor as well. So I could cross-cancel that K with this K. So this leaves me with what? A 9 down in the denominator. And you might be saying, well, there's nothing up here in the numerator. Yes, there's always a 1, okay? So I'm left with a 1 and a 9 or 1 over 9, and that is our final answer. Okay, so some of you might say, well, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, this might be uh, basic algebra uh, for you, but this is, you know, advanced for me. Well, this is, again, you know, maybe like pre-algebra, algebra one level mathematics, okay? So nothing that you can't learn. Matter of fact, if you need more assistance in algebra, if you want to relearn algebra, I'm going to leave links to my algebra courses in the description, uh, including pre-algebra, algebra one, algebra two. And if uh, some of you want to check out my pre-calculus course, I'll leave a link uh, uh, in the description as well uh, to that course. But here's the thing, right? Uh, it's my belief that if you learn something really, really well, even if you've been away from it for a long time, you know, it shouldn't take you too um, too much to kind of get your skills back, right? So for those of you that are interested in relearning algebra over, let's say, you know, you've been away from it for 10, 20, 30, 40 years, just to see if you can do it again, I bet you can uh, relearn it pretty quickly, okay? I think it'll all kind of come back and all those great memories from high school as well. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.